big hit against al-Qaeda in Yemen. A U.S. drone strike killing at least 10 militants and ABC's Martha Raddatz, who's hosting this week, has done extensive reporting on terror in the region and she joins us now from Washington. Martha, good morning to you. So what do we know about these militants? Well, good morning, Bianca. These militants had been tracked for some time. They apparently had been in some sort of training camp in Yemen, not unusual. A U.S. drone and the drone operators tracked their pickup truck as soon as they left that training camp, launched a Hellfire missile, hit their pickup truck. Ten of those militants, as you say, were killed. Others were injured. Unfortunately, there was another truck right there as well, and three civilians were killed, apparently construction workers. But they say one of these was a recruiter, an al-Qaeda recruiter in the pickup truck. Another was some sort of radical preacher, and the others were likely al-Qaeda foot soldiers. And you mentioned the loss of innocent lives, and we know the drone strikes are very controversial for that reason. Was this something that was coordinated with the Yemeni government? Absolutely. In fact, Bianca, the Yemeni government was the first to announce these drone strikes, and they did announce that civilians were accidentally killed. But there is always some sort of uh, some sort of consultation with the Yemeni government before they do these drone strikes. Yeah, Yemen, a hotbed for Al Qaeda. Martha, our thanks to you, and of course, Martha will have much more on the drone attack, plus all the stories in Washington this morning coming up later on ABC's This Week.